Hi everyone, how are you? Lisa here from South Florida. Hope everybody is doing well today. I am doing well. This, I'm playing with it, so I might as well tell you what this is. This is called a Q-Link. So it helps to block EMF. And this is copper around here. You can get it online. Um, Q-Link.com. I'm not sure what the website is. Something like that. And this is a stone. This is a moldavite stone for energy. And this is an heirloom for my grandma that I have not taken off in years. Okay, so now that we situated all that. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've been nudged since last year and now I'm being pushed to share this information with you. Um, I have been doing holistic healing since the 80s, quantum healing, and over time my skills have been enhanced. I suppressed a lot of them and now since last year with everything happening, I've been called to share what I know um, with everybody to assist with this ascension process that we're going through because there's a lot of overwhelm and stress and the need for healing. So I just want to share a quick story with you. About two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And this was from a medical doctor, and they never did a biopsy. And knowing myself, my truth, my mindset, things that I know, I just got done taking a full four-day blessing course um, that allows me to bless spiritually from a higher consciousness, from mind, from source to you. And so this diagnosis totally did not make sense to me at all. So, but this is what the medical community told me. And at the time I had some inflammation going on also. So the bottom line of this is they ne never did a biopsy. I never wanted them to. This is what the doctor and the surgeon kept telling me and I wasn't going to accept it. It, not at all. So in this journey of that, I really needed to work on my mindset, getting rid of any kind of doubt that was going on. And during this time, I heard a lot of um, the radio about breast cancer and issues with women. And I just shut that off. I don't even know why I had that on in the first place, but I shut it back off again. I haven't had news on for about eight or nine years in my house. And I really listened to um, any kind of talk on the radio. So I had this diagnosis and I knew that it started with me and I believed that it wasn't true. So what was I going to do about it? So I really changed my diet. I became as alkaline as I could. I cut out a lot of things. I've added things. I did a, um, a blood test that I have that I can share with other people that shows 90 food allergens from a finger stick. I did that, I followed that, and I knew that this is something that I can shift because I've shifted so many other things in my life. Why is this going to be different? So I changed my nutrition, changed my thought pat, pat process, meditated two or three times a day, specifically on things from healing and megahertz frequencies. And I also had a lot of Reiki done by a friend of mine who is a great Reiki person, healer, channeler, and we went very, very deep into some hypnosis, getting rid of the cause that creates the effect, as we talked about on my last video that I did on Tuesday Live, when you let go, it's releasing the cause that creates the effect of the events of the, that shape your feelings from the past that don't really matter in your life now. So I did these sessions about twice a week, increased my meditation, became as alkaline as I could, exercised, watched my thoughts, removed myself from any kind of stressful situations, people, places, and situations at the time. So over a three month period from that diagnosis, things started changing. The doctor kept calling me and calling me and calling me and she says, you have cancer. Don't you think you need to come in? And da, da, da. And you can't let this wait. And she was very, very 
persistent. So I ended up hanging up on this medical doctor and I was going to call the AMA on her because she was harassing me at this point because I did not want to get a biopsy. And this was three years, three years ago. So my point is that the mind-body connection is so vitally important. We have the power to heal ourselves. We live in an abundant universe with abundant energy and resources around. And if you're willing to change and to be open to <sighs> this vast universe of, of miraculous things, you can help yourself heal too. So I was just told that I needed to share this story because it's very important and as a nurse for 36 years, I actually retired myself 10 years ago, probably. Um, and I won't go back to the medical profession. That I know that we have the power within us to heal ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. And that was very eye-opening to me and really life-changing at that time. And really put more things in perspective that life is short and if I would have gotten sucked into that whole agenda that was being thrown at me, I don't know where I would be today. And even if something did happen, if there was something there, I already planned on what I was going to do. I was going to go to, um, it's called Chipsa Hospital in, in Mexico and they just deal with this holistically there. I wouldn't have gone anything with the medical. No, I've seen too much, know too much. And that's it. So I wanted to share that with you. And then when I went back to my gynecologist, he's like, how come you never got a biopsy? How come you never did this? And oh, in the meantime, my um, thermography was always negative. It never showed any heat anywhere. None, ever, not even after that diagnosis. So he says, boy, you must know something that I don't. And I'm like, I do. And he just looked at me and he was just all gowned up because this was, this was last year I went back. I, I didn't go for a while. And he was all gowned up with his shield and his mask and very like fearful and afraid. And he's like, you shouldn't, you know something I don't. And I'm like, I do. And that was it. And I just know that we can control and heal and take care of our own health. And I follow Louise Hay, and she has amazing affirmations for any kind of disease process with a affirmation that goes with it. And there's always a mind-body connection attached. There always is, right? So when I was going through this, I got rid of that 10% of doubt that I had. And it took a while because our ego, our ego is tricky. And we talked about this on the lives, last couple of lives Alicia and I did. The ego is very tricky. And you have to tame this ego and say, step away, step away. You know, I know better. So I did that. And you know what? Here it is three years, maybe it's three and a half years already. And nothing ever happened. I'm fine. Everything's been negative. You know, so I just choose to do holistic. And I believe that with the plants and the vegetables and the sunlight and um, will, free will, we could really have control of ourselves. And now with the new things coming, there's new technologies coming out. Um, I know Tesla has some um, great machines coming out now, and I have some practitioners who are using them, and there's more to come on that. So with that, I wanted to share with this with you, and I also wanted to offer my services. I've been doing coaching, I've been doing mindset, I've been doing um, breakthrough coaching, quantum healing, like I said, for years. So now what I'm doing is I am offering like 10 to 15 minutes to people for about $10. And I can help answer one of your questions intuitively. I can also do a blessing, some chakra, chakra release on you to help clear the blockages and just help bring on your own truth and your own intuition. So um, yeah, so you can help yourself heal. So my services are available. I'm going to put a PayPal link out there. So if anybody would like anything, I can definitely assist you. And I've been down the road since the 80s of ups and downs like this. And this was a story to show you that um, it is possible. And I do have techniques and I consistently do healing on myself 
um, with myself, I do work with my guides. I do work with some galactic guides. And some of you may think that's, what? What is she saying? But yeah, so that is truth and more of that's going to be coming out. And what I'm going to be doing is assisting you to come into your own truth and your own remembrance of who you are and what you have the power and um, the potential of being and doing, right? Um, we forget. We're... We forget who we are and we forget that we can design our own life and have control of our own destiny. So I'm going to assist you to come back to pull in these fragmented pieces of us, ourselves that just get lost, to come back as a whole, to bring in your higher self, to know that you're good enough, you know, bring back your self-esteem and everything you want to do. Um, I've been a single mom since 2002. So that's a whole other a whole other road to go down of how I raised my three kids by myself. I created um, a seven figure income in a home based business. I left nursing to do that, so I am skilled in that also. Um, yeah, so everything's all it's all encompassing. You know, it's just very good. Time is right, and if you just ask, you know, ask specifically for what you're looking for, you're gonna get an answer, but trust it. Trust what you hear, right? We, we speak about that. And with our sessions, we'll go through it. And if you wanna do more than the 10, 15 minutes, yes, we can absolutely do more. If you wanna do a group, we can do that on Zoom. Zoom is great for healing. We can do it over the phone, Zoom. Um, if you're local, you know, we could do it hands-on here. So whatever you want to do, I am here for your service. This is what my mission is which is being told to me um <laughs> today a lot it's like you got to go do this video because more of what um my gifts are are being shown to me during my sleep um intuitively so i am here to share them with you now so i'm going to end this with um, a little bit of light language and again the light language is um higher dimensional consciousness coming in through light down to assist on um, clearing blockages and healing and remembering, bringing remembrance to who you are. Okay, here it goes. Just a little collective um, light language for Saturday. No yen a sash, chicken at the grease the grow. No yen a seta, non a sitiga. Pushing at the grail. So, what I was being told is that you are so loved. You are so, so loved. <sighs> Listen to what those little um, intuition, intuitional thoughts coming in are. You are being loved. You are being taken care of. You always have been. Now's the time for you to be hearing. Right? Divinity is all around you. So with that, I will talk to you soon. And everybody have a great rest of your weekend. All right? I love you guys. Bye.